Welcome everybody uh, to this edition of Mind Your Own Business. Um, if you watched uh, the two podcasts, one on flow and the other on um, prosperity, uh, you um, saw those while I was uh, recovering from open heart surgery. So today we're gonna talk about lessons from open heart surgery. Today is five weeks from when I was uh, in the operating room, just getting out about right now, um, and uh, five weeks ago. And here's sort of what I distilled. And as always, this will be sort of uh, come from the point of view of, of a business leader or a business um, person. Um, but it also applies, I think, pretty well to personal life and managing change. So here are my lessons. Uh, so I had heart surgery uh, five weeks ago to repair a aortic valve that uh, I was born with one that was bicuspid, meaning it has two leaves instead of three. So it was ineffective. Had a heart murmur for a long time and it got COVID. It got much worse and uh, had to be replaced. So uh, had the uh, fortunate opportunity to uh, have a great surgeon, a great group of people at TMC here in Tucson uh, to do the work and they were spectacular. Um, but this is a good lesson for probably any unanticipated, brutal, difficult change. So we all deal with that, right? We all go through things like that. So here's what I distilled. You know, there are five basic bullet points. The first is be prepared, do your homework. So I did my homework, I watched videos, I figured out what was gonna happen and it helped me get my mindset right. It didn't really help me understand because nobody can make you understand what this is like. I mean, it was, you know, the first two weeks, you know, you're essentially destroyed as a person and your body's putting itself back together. It is monumental. That said, managed well, you get through it and I'm not normal yet, but probably 85% of normal. Um, so mindset is key. Uh, control what you can, serenity prayer or whatever you use to focus on what you can control. Uh, gratitude and appreciation, uh, really important. So getting my mind right, deciding who I was gonna say thank you to, who I was gonna uh, tell them I appreciated them, what my focus was going to be after the surgery. Because many people will come up to you if you happen to have this, and I hope you don't. Um, they'll say, wow, you did a really good job through all that. And man, I was asleep, I laid there. Uh, the work comes after. So right mindset is important. That's the key. And it is with almost any change, right? Because you get cut off in traffic, you get upset. We all do it on occasion. Um, it's waste, it's a waste. So right mindset, the day of, so the day of, I go in, I'm on this sort of gurney type thing, laying there, they're putting uh, um, different tubes and, you know, beginning shaving your chest, you know, doing all this stuff. The thing I tried to do during the beginning of change, particularly when those who frankly held my life in their hands were there, is to be grateful for them, thanking them for what they're doing, appreciating them. Uh, it's a Friday, so I hope, you know, Friday's your best day. And uh, yeah, a little self-serving there, absolutely. Uh, but, you know, essentially it's a life and death. So um, we wanted a win-win relationship. Uh, so day of, just be grateful. And then after, do the work. And I should have added, frankly, cooperate. You know, when you leave surgery, you go to intensive care and there's a person assigned to you 
um, every shift. And I think they were working uh, 12s. So there were two different people, somebody always watching, somebody always there. And it was amazing. And their job was to get me to a point where I could get out of intensive care. When you leave intensive care, you move into a part of the hospital whose job is to get you out of the hospital, to get you to graduation. And you got to do the work. You got to just do the work. It is unpleasant in some cases. In some cases, you're not really all there because you're dealing with the change. And we've all dealt with tough change, you know, deaths in the family or dissolution of a relationship or, you know, any you know business problems that were huge. And, you know, where the money's you know, big and big meaning, big to us, you know, you got to do the work, man. You got to do the work and do what you can. My focus was do what I can do, cooperate, you know, be thankful, but get out and get home. And once you get home, you really got to make the best of a tough situation. So those you love most often, you treat the least. I knew that, so I tried to be as grateful as possible to my support, uh, my wife, for example, and to be thankful and to <clears throat> do the work to get to where we needed to be. So thinking about this from a change standpoint, understanding the change, get your mindset right, be grateful for your opportunity to work through it, do it, and make the best of a tough situation. So. <clears throat> excuse my cough this is my journey through open heart surgery five weeks out um, I'm probably 85 percent of where I was um, success in this is like success in a lot of things mindset is almost everything attitude pretty much fills the rest and dedication to doing what's right so that's it I hope this is helpful in some way if you are facing something different, something big, something unanticipated. My heart is with you, no pun intended. Um, here are some steps, I hope they're helpful. Take care, we'll see you next week.